Good morning, everybody. Thanks for clicking on my video and choosing to partake in a little yoga flow with me this morning. This is a nice 20 minute practice to get your gears going and allow you some time to connect with your body. With that said, don't ever feel like you're behind in your yoga practice. Try to listen to my verbal cues as well as if you do need to look up and watch, that's fine. No need to rush out of a posture. If you end up missing something, that's okay. And you can always try the video again sometime. Um, anyways, hope you enjoy it and you're feeling good. Let's start just by settling down into your hips and taking a few deep breaths in. Trying to find at least four counts in and four counts out. Scanning your body, noticing your sits bones. Take a nice big inhale and raise your arms to the sky, stretching up, exhale them down. Nice big inhale again, lifting arms to the sky, and then drop one arm to stretch into the side. Planting that hand, you can help hold yourself up and deepen the stretch. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, other arm down, stretch into that side body. Use your inhale to feel your ribs expand. Inhale, both arms back to the sky, and exhale them forward into a forward fold. Let the head hang heavy. You can always rest on your elbows or stretch along through the fingers as you stretch the hips away. Breathe into any tension here in the hips. Let it go, let it be. Walk those hands back up to your sitting upright and switch the cross of your legs some spinal twisting. Inhale, arms up, and then drop them down into a cactus shape. Twisting on an exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, drive with that elbow back, and then inhale back to center. Let the head trail behind. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center, and again. Exhale, other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. This time, hold here and drop both arms down. Breathing into the twist, use that inhale to feel the ribs expand and the exhale to soften shoulders and hips into the twist. One more time. Lift the arms back up into cactus. Rotate all the way around to the other side and drop the arms down. Find that breath, big inhale, feel the ribs expand. Exhale, let it all soften. Pick those arms back up, rotate up, inhale, nice big stretch to the sky, and both arms down. Now to stretch the other side of your hips, feeling the length in your spine, breathing into any tightness. Let it all go. Nice big breath. And begin to walk your hands back upright to a tall spine. Allowing both hands to pass on the back side of your hips. Lift your heart up. Nice big inhale. Stretch up. And come back to center. Nice big easy breath. And we'll work on some alternate nostril breathing. Take your right hand. Use your peace fingers. And you can fold them down so you can use your thumb and ring finger to breathe. Or you can take those peace fingers and put them on your third eye. And go ahead and use your thumb, plug your right nostril, and take a big inhale through the left. Hold and plug both nostrils. And then exhale, releasing thumb side. Inhale, same side. Plug both nostrils. Hold the breath at the top. And then release ring finger. Exhale that side. Inhale that same side. Plug both nostrils at the top, hold, release thumb, exhale out the thumb side. Inhale, same side. Plug both nostrils and hold at the top. Release ring finger, exhale, let it all go. And let that hand drop, returning to a regular breath. Go ahead and stretch out those legs and wiggle around. Move the hips, move the legs, loosen it up, get the blood back in there. And let that move you to a side to side stretch. Stretching one arm down towards the foot and then the other arm down to the foot. Almost like you're side bending. Find the looseness. Find 
find the freedom in your spine. Breathe through any tightness. And turning to center, nice big inhale, arms to the sky, drop them down over one leg, and now stretch them out towards your toes. Reverse other side, inhale, arms up, stretch the arms to the other foot, reach the spine long. Inhale, back up. And work your way to kneeling. Fold the mat or grab a blanket if you need some extra padding. Once you're there, inhale, arms high, and drop the elbows down, bending side to side like you're reaching one elbow to touch your hip, and then to the other side like you're reaching that elbow to touch the hip. One more time, one side, and the other side, turning this one into a full circle. Bend down from the hips, round your spine forward, and then other side bend. Other side bend, swoop it around, bring it back up nice and tall. Windmill both arms to the side and come into a side plank with your knees on the ground. Reaching your free arm up and drawing big circles. Open up that chest, use the breath to expand in the rib cage. Nice big inhales, both directions. into that side plank, circling the arm one direction. Feel your breath. Make sure you circle both directions. One more breath and swoop it over. Holding the side plank, just find a nice back arch. And swoop it to the other side. Nice big inhale, arching it back. And swooping it to center. Hold a little child's pose. Stretch arms in front of you, kneeling and stretching hips back. Breathe. And work your way back up to kneeling upright. We'll pause for a little camel pose, placing both hands on your hips, squeeze the elbows together and drop the head back. Really squeeze the elbows together to open the chest and come back out. Allowing yourself to go onto all fours, you can circle around on those wrists, warm them up. It's really important to place your weight into your first knuckle where your finger and your hand meet. And that way you're not dumping on your wrist. A little free movement, circling the spine. I know these are to be called disco kitties. And then let's work a little balance. Stretch your arm and foot out, nice length. Pull the tummy in, try to stretch through your spine. Opposite hand and leg, reach them up, allow a little back bend, bend that back foot, reach the toe up, and then elbow to knee. Nice big inhale, stretch them long, exhale, bring them together. Inhale, stretch, exhale down. Other side, stretch opposite limbs out and then float them up. Find that balance, pull into the tummy, stretch the spine nice and long. Inhale, stretch them to the sky, allow a little back bend. And then reach your toe up high, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale it up, exhale it, elbow to knee. Inhale it out, exhale, elbow to knee, float it down. Rock it forward and back into that. We call this high cobra. Reaching those hips forward, reach the heart forward, and then drop all the way down to your tummy. Press it back into child's pose. Let that spine release. Let it all go. And then walk your hands over to one side. A little side stretch hips away, reaching through that hand, and then walk hands all the way to the other side, other side body, open stretch, little engagement in the tummy, pulling tummy into spine, and then walk hands back to center, round that spine up, flip the toes under, and let's just circle those wrists out, give them a little extra love, and come all the way to standing. And come up to the top of your mat, sun salutations. Nice big inhale, arms down. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, reach hands to the sky. Option for a little bit of back bend. Exhale, fold forward. And let that head hang heavy. You can have the feet a little bit wider if you need. 
Find that breath. Try to have the weight a little more forward into your toes. Okay to have a bend in the knee. Inhale, halfway lift, and then reach the right foot back down into a runner's lunge. Sink those hips up. Fine if you need to wiggle, circle it out. Warm up those hips. Get them ready for this position. The knee is floating here. And then you can drop that knee down. Come all the way up, finding half crescent. You can reach one arm up. And then drop that leg all the way back into a plank. Hold here. Try to let your butt drop down. Find one big line in your body. Then drop down the knees, chest down, butt is high for worm. You can kiss the floor or try to place your chin on the floor if that's not too much. And just try to find that breath. Even squeeze the elbows together like they're touching. Big heart opener here, wonderful. One more round of breath. small cobra here. You can do sphinx pose if you like or bring those hands a little bit closer and just try to pull your head back. Lift your heart forward and maybe even test by lifting hands up to make sure you're using only your spine. And then press yourself back into down dog. You can pass through child's pose or tabletop to get there. Nice straight spine. Big inhale, big exhale. Bring that right foot forward and sink those hips down. Playing again, circles, rocking back and forth, whatever your body needs here to just really warm it up. And then go ahead and drop that knee down, lift the outside arm nice and high. Bring yourself back down, lift the knee up so you can bring left leg to meet right leg forward fold let that head hang hamstrings a little more open inhale all the way up arms high exhale them down to the sides you did it inhale exhale hands together inhale arms above you exhale forward fold inhale left leg back exhale both legs together plank Hold it, drop knees, drop chest, worm. Drop the hips down, inhale, small cobra. Exhale, press back into downward dog, high knee high. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, right leg forward, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, little bit of back bend. Exhale, arms pass through center, all the way down. Then we'll do it again. Exhale, arms together. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back again. Exhale, left leg back, hold plank. Drop the knees down, drop the chest down, worm. Inhale, small cobra. Exhale, down into down dog. Inhale, right leg forward, lunge. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, left leg forward, forward fold. Inhale, maybe optional back bend. Exhale, arms down. Big inhale. Exhale, hands together, heart center. Inhale, lift the arms up, drop it back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg leads, send it back. Inhale, heart up. Exhale, both legs back, plank pose. Drop the knees and the chest down, exhale, worm. Inhale, lift the heart up, cobra. Exhale, down into down dog, lift the high knee high. And inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, both legs forward, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, option for a little back bend. Exhale, arms down. You did two rounds of sun salutation. Good job. Let it all go by doing a yoga sit. Squeeze the legs together, reach the arms forward, slide your spine down the wall till you're sitting all the way down. You can turn sideways on that mat, roll the spine down to laying down. We're gonna kinda wind it down here, coming up near the end of practice. Pull those feet up to the sky. You can always place your hands under your bottom if you need, or a yoga block. After wiggling the ankles and toes, cross one leg over the other knee. Figure four stretch, pull it in. Other side. Pull it in, find that stretch, find your breath. And 
spinal twist. Couple options, you can cross the leg over most intensity, have the knee bent near you, both legs at the same time. I like one leg long, one bent. It's kind of the most gentle. As you drop that knee cross body, you can look opposite direction to complete the twist or same direction while arms are at a T for the extra bicep stretch. One more round of breath. Bring it back to center, other side. Sometimes the side needs the same thing, sometimes it needs a little bit different. Honor yourself. Arms are at a T. Breathing. Unwinding. Mom around a breath. And bring it back up to center. Okay, if you need a little longer, I like to hug those knees in and squeeze into a tiny little ball. And then maybe a happy baby, grabbing outsides of the feet, pulling the knees down onto either side of those ribs. Try to think about your spine stretching long, tailbone touching, neck touching as best as it can. And then release those feet down. Bottoms of the feet touching, knees wide. And you can place those hands on your hips and press the hips away for some spinal decompression. And from here, I just like to drop into Savasana. If you want to stretch those legs long, you can, or you can keep them bound as they are. Let your breath slow. Allow the floor to hold you. Give in to gravity. Connect with your breath. body to shift and breathing into yourself. And then work your way up into a seat. Cross legs, straddle, any seat that's best for you. Bringing hands to heart center and the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. You made it! You made it through the yoga flow. Good job. Hope you're feeling better than when you started. I'm always open for questions or comments or if you have requests at all. And um, yes, I'm AJ Capricorn. That stands for Ariel Juniper. And yes, I hope to provide more for you and see you later. You can always subscribe and share this video.